Hey, it's Jen. I have the bare bones of my December daily complete, so I thought I would share it with you as December 1st is coming upon us rather quickly. And I feel like I've got the foundation. I've decided not to embellish until I know my pictures and where things are going. So I know that that's normally people will embellish their pages but it was stressing me out and I'm gonna be on vacation for half the month so I'm gonna have time to do it um, maybe after I get like a week done and kind of see what it's like and how it's working for me then maybe I'll start embellishing more pages but as of now I just have the papers done and a few cool things that I've made so here I also I have not done a cover yet because I'm traveling I think I'm gonna wait until I'm where I'm at. So here's the front page. Um, and so as you can see, I don't, I guess, I don't know what the best way to do this is because you can't really see the paper. So am I going to have to hold it up? So these are two doodlebug papers, the peppermint and the little reindeer. I pretty much, I didn't really have to repeat any paper, which was awesome. So here is another little doodlebug and that. I made this shaker card. This is the one with the, the American Crafts with the gingerbread person the trees, the snowflakes, and the candy canes. Then I just made my own card and used a stamp. Then on the back it says jingle all the way. That one there is a Studio Calico paper. And that, um, so what I did is the snap binder comes with a bunch of pre-made papers and the ones that had a red design I covered them so that's that one this is the one with the um, that has the long one they're neat so I have done some placeholders um, so this is an American Crafts reindeer and so I think he's going to go there. Oh, and I guess I should say what my plan is, is I have put a plain card on the left-hand side, and those will be the ones where I number my days. So, for example, if this is day eight, um, then I will somehow attach the number, I'm thinking like with a banner on this one. So that will be my numbered page. I love this one. Tinsel fixes everything. It's so cute. Um, so then there's these pages. And then this one here is, look, it's a doodle bug. It's a little Santa Claus. So cute. So for using a number of collections, I think it came along well. Um, I can't wait to see what it looks like what's in, when it's embellished because I love it already. So this one here, I stickled his belt to make it gold. This card here, I embossed with my star embosser folder. And then I made these file folder pages. This just comes out and I did a tutorial on this so I'll post that if I haven't already. So I made that. I love the file folders. Love, love, love. Don't want this to take forever. So there's that one. I don't know if this is boring for you guys just to see paper. But I just kind of wanted to show you the bare bones. This one's so cute. Check all that apply. And then I just used my sticky embossing powder and glitter and did it with, and checked the one off with a star. 
I love this one. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And then Holiday Hugs and Mistletoe Kisses. And I thought it looked like this snowman was putting his or her arms out for a hug. So that'll be a number page. Then I put this bag in. So this is just a Michaels bag. This is the um, uh, die cut from the Trim the Tree Lawn Fawn. And I just did it with glitter paper. And then to make the bag more sturdy, I just, oh, um, it's, um, it's in there. But there's a piece of paper in there, and I'm either going to just leave it or I'm going to journal on it. I figure I'll be flying around this time, so this is where I'll put, like, my ticket and that sort of thing. And I'll probably decorate the back, too. So... Yeah, pretty boring on these ones. Like, until you kind of know what you're doing with them, I don't really know how you're supposed to decorate them. I don't know. It just works backwards from what I'm used to. So, I'm going with what I know. This black one here, I embossed with the stars as well. And this page here, I have a plan for this one. So, this one says special delivery. And, um... When we have some family come and visit, they'll be driving down. So I want to journal about that there. This blue one here is an envelope that I made. And I used my envelope punch for that. And I just glued all that down except for this. So I can just tuck that in. So... I'm happy with the way the colors worked out. I really tried to, I mean, I literally cut paper for like, I swear, five hours. It took me forever. So here's another of the file folder pages, and this is the one I made in the tutorial, so you can see how to do it. These just pull out, so does the green one. I just thought if there's stuff that I want to tuck in, um, that those would be good. And then I can put pictures and stuff on the insides. I can do something on the back. And then I also thought too that I can make some of my pockets or flip out pages with these. I just I didn't know where I was going to be putting what. So so I uh, I don't know. I just didn't do it yet. Um, this one's cute. So this isn't adhered down or anything. It's just kind of a placeholder of where I think I want it. Now this I'm thinking is kind of Christmas. Um, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. So, And then I tried not to do as much Christmas after that. Christmas colors still, but I'm doing up to day 31. So, And here's a little shaker pocket that I made as well and it just comes out so it's just a little package but these are the little snow styrofoam s snow things that I got and they make everything kind of stick but it's fun so there's that one and then these are just pretty plain because this is like I'm thinking after Christmas so but the thing is is that oh and then I'll just say this first so I wanted to have the calendar at the very end and I'll circle 31 and then this one I have it's the number 20 and the number 14 and then I want to do something that says happy new year here and then that'll be the end um, so yeah so there's my book um, the bare bones and then I'll show as I start decorating I absolutely love this shaker page um, this is the tinsel it was called tinsel that I bought and I just stuck it on with my ATG so this is it. well it was like the garland it's so I don't I don't think it comes across well in the video but it is so cool and it tapes on so well with the ATG but yeah so let me know what you think and it's my first one so Oh, I don't know. I'm just I'm trying to figure out what's going to work for me. I mean, 
I'm like this will be day one so this will be an embellished card with the number one then I'm thinking you know day two so I left these ones all rather plain um, but I don't know we'll see how it goes I guess you know I'll be starting next week once I start taking pictures on Sunday so that's that's my book talk to you guys soon take care